Hello, my name is Dr. Saad Khan and today we're going to be doing another video and this time we'll look at the human digestive system. This is the whole diagram of digestive system and uh, this is quite a big figure so if you see the whole part of it, it's this big. So <coughs> the actually the word digestion means the chemical and mechanical breakdown of complex food into simple diffusible form the food which is complex both physically and chemically it is broken down so it can easily be absorbed by the small intestines and then it can enter the blood and obviously give energy in the form of molecules so the dig digestive system starts from the mouth or the buccal cavity the mouth is here and extends all the way down to the anus this is the whole alimentary canal of human system so the digestive system is actually in the form of a long coil tube which has mouth at its upper end and uh, the anus at its rear end and for simplicity we have we will study digestion in five different parts the first is ingestion when we actually take the food through the oral cavity the other is the actual digestion which occurs which starts basically from the mouth but the main part of it starts in the stomach which is the breaking down of food then we have absorption in this intestines and there is assimilation which means the uh, further broken down into small this is assimilated into the blood that is actually taken up by the blood the biomolecules and finally the ejection the ejection is that part in which the unwanted food or the food which is left over which is not digested not assimilated it f is finally passed out from the body so we'll start a journey from the mouth uh, this is the oral cavity and I'll show you some of the things you don't have to go into any details this would be much easier we have a sagittal section of it um, of the oral cavity so you can see there's this tongue the teeth incisor you can see and then there is this this is the whole oral cavity and then you can see this is the passage of oral cavity that leads into here this is the esophagus this part is the pharynx and this is the esophagus okay so first off <coughs> we'll start with the oral cavity the oral cavity has a couple of structures to digest the food uh, it has the tongue the teeth and then the saliva the saliva is the watery fluid and the lubricant fluid that is secreted from the salivary glands the biggest of them is the parotid gland that you can see here the other two are submandibular and sublingual glands you don't actually need to remember the names of them uh, if you're going for a basic uh, know-how of the elementary system but this is the gland which is found anterior to the ear and the other two are below the jaw uh, the function of saliva the saliva which is secreted from uh, this glands and these two glands the function of it is to moisten the food and it lubricates the food and um, it also the saliva also has an enzyme called salivary amylase it is also called thylen that converts starch into maltose so the basically the digestion is the process of digestion the breaking down of food actually starts from the mouth and uh, the physical breakdown of food occurs through these teeth and the chemical breakdown along with this physical breakdown occurs because of the presence of saliva secreted from these glands the parotid gland the submandibular and sublingual gland this structure is the tongue which is uh, which is uh, called the most uh, strong muscle of the body this is the strongest muscle of the body it doesn't have any bone in it and it can move in all directions and it is the strongest muscle of the body 
The largest muscle of the body is actually the quadriceps, but this is considered to be the strongest muscle. The tongue mixes the food with the saliva, and finally, it this is called the palate, and the tongue pushes. Oh, the tongue pushes the food on the palate, which which pushes the food back and into the digestive tube, into this tube, or the food tube that is called the esophagus. You can see the esophagus is here. Uh, this, the oral cavity, leads into the esophagus. The esophagus is the tube extending from the oral cavity all the way down to the stomach. The esophagus doesn't have uh, any other function except it is the it, it serves as a passage of food from the oral cavity to the stomach. In the mouth, due to the action of saliva, the food moistens, mixes up with um, saliva, uh, um, salivary amylase, and a small part of its carbohydrate is digested from maltose, from starch to maltose. And uh, that was pretty much it about the oral cavity uh, as far as digestion is concerned. And if you have any questions, uh, regarding this part you can leave them in the comments and uh, thanks for watching